Hello there, chat. How's it going? You may have noticed something crazy about the timing of this one. Wow, the stream isn't super late at night? How crazy. Well. You see, the thing is, I used to stream in the mornings on Fridays. That used to be my stream time. For like five years, I streamed every Friday morning. Usually World of Warcraft. So every Friday morning, I always get the urge to stream just because it was a habit for so long. So I was like, I should just do that today. You know? <gasps> Thanks for the resub, Sick Tendo. Good morning, cool logs. Where's the mysterious logs? Right here. Yeah, dual logs, you're so cool and mysterious. <laughs> I still can't believe how good that one is. Okay, let's go over... Let's see, who was first today? The actual first person... Oh, main time. Was... Rai Ramp FTP. Wow. No way, that's crazy. The second was... Metrilis 114. Meltrilis 14. Third was Stardust Synchron. Stardust Synchron, you were third? I can't believe you. And then fourth was Zod Arg. Zod. And then fifth was Linkarius U. Mr. Dulogs, go back to sleep. I want to, but I stayed in bed for too long. <gasps> it's Mystic Mine. Runic, I'm dead. I'm playing an Exodia deck. Literally, this deck counters my whole concept as a being. And they're playing sweaty Runics, too. Yeah, I think they're going to stall me better than I can stall them. Just a hunch. Activate Ogdoadic Water Lily. Send one reptile from my deck to the grave. I can use this to get a reptile on the field. <gasps> Rivalry of the Warlords? Wait, as long as I don't play any cards, they can't interact with my field. I just realized that. I'm a genius. Activate Pot of Greed. And pass. Wait, I did play a spell trap. That does allow them to interact with my board a little bit. See, they can destroy one of my fucking spell traps. If they banish any of my Exodia pieces, I have to quit. No. Okay, none of my Exodia pieces were banned. Oh, fuck. <gasps> as long as I don't play any cards, they can't do anything to me. Oh, thanks for the resub, Neos. Watching my second favorite VTuber misplay a bunch of times and call himself a genius afterwards. Your second favorite? Wait, first of all, I'm not a VTuber. Also, what do you mean misplay? I'm a genius. Okay, and then banish the top card of my deck, which was also not an Exodia piece. Okay, so as long as I just don't play any cards, they can't banish my stuff. Anything but the Jar Turtle. It's fine. I can't believe they had the Spell Trap Destruction effect. They'll be able to? Nope. This is a genius idea, as long as I just don't play anything. The only thing they can use is Runic Tip. Add a Runic card from your deck to your hand. God, Runic is so cringe. Runic Fountain. Banish one card, and it's not an Exodia piece. If they banish an Exodia piece, I have to just give up. Oh no, they're going to draw three. Do you think that Runic is toxic? Yes, I love Runic. If it wasn't toxic, then I wouldn't like it. Oh, I guess I can also use Pot of Duality. 
Mill decks were a mistake. I love mill decks. Damage equals reptile. Okay. A stall deck versus a stall deck. Activate Sinister Serpent in your graveyard? Sure, whatever. So, you admit to being a toxic VTuber. I'm not a VTuber. Is it super cold where you are, the dual logs? I don't feel heat. So, of course not. I'm not a VTuber, so it doesn't deny to being toxic. I've never denied to being toxic. I love to be toxic. That's why none of my friends like me, you know? He's on the moon. It's because I play runic floodgates versus them in friendly duels. He's a WoW player, of course he's toxic. Dude, there is no one more toxic than WoW players. I've heard stories about League players, but like, have you seen WoW players? Oh, all my tags are reset. I didn't even notice that. Well, it has English as a tag. Hi, you're the best Yu-Gi-Oh streamer? Why, thank you. I am a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player. I'm going to absolutely sweep at that tournament. Oof. Damn it, another runic tip? How do they keep drawing this fucking card? That's literally the only card they can play. And they keep getting it. At least they're not banishing my uh, Exodia cards. Because if they banish a single one, then I have to give up. Or I'll have to try to combo off, which I can't do because I don't run back row removal in this deck. <gasps> have you played League before? No. Your opponent draws one card? Oh, fuck. They're going to force me to draw cards. Still no banish of a card. Runic Allure is pissing me off. Actually, I don't want to do this. <laughs> this is annoying. He's also taking forever to do his plays, too. Report him for soul playing? I think he's just like a mobile player. What is it with mobile players and playing runic floodgates? It's like you're already taking forever to do all your plays and then you're going to play a deck that takes forever too. It's like extra takes forever, you know? I mean, my deck is also a stall deck, but at least I don't take forever physically to do stuff. It's just like an emotional toll. <gasps> Ooh, look at all these cards I have. Activate Ogdoadic Water Lily. Let's send do, 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 do. this card to the grave so I can summon it. Activate Night Serpent. Six months. Goddamn. I know, right? Thanks for the sub. No name. <gasps> no name. What was the name of that one anime where their their name was basically like blank? So like their usernames was just like you know. Did they just infinite impermanence my card with no effect? Your nickname. Hello there. You're nicknamed. Welcome to hell. In today's episode of Hell's Kitchen, we will be cooking up Exodia, but with a hint of reptiles. Kohaku? The highest value imperm? <laughs> it really was. 
<laughs> Let's see, and then we'll add a Theron. Um, Dark Door. Supply Squad. And Scapegoat. Yes? You like Hell's Kitchen? Runic Stun is a Floodgate deck, for example, but Sprite Runic isn't. Runic Stun is a Floodgate, but Sprite Runic isn't. Oh yeah, there's so many people who hate Runics. Because they assume everybody's playing the Floodgate variant. Which is true, because when you're on online, that's all you see is the Floodgate variant. Oh yeah, I don't have any Floodgates. I can't stop Sword Soul from destroying my board. But I can sure as hell delay them for a little bit. Just speculation. They really had to think about the Moye. <gasps> I know, right? What is it? Moye? Summon token? Wait, what? They're using Chunjun? What the fuck does this card even do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They're just clicking buttons. <laughs> Moye, I mean, what is this? A level 10? They can still go into Barone. Baron? I know, right? Chunjun Turbo. Before damage calculation, if your were monster battles an opponent's monster that was spelled with some from the extra deck, destroy both this, that card, and your opponent's monster in this card. You can only swap to once per turn. Changing! Not Barone. He's playing the bad sword souls. Maybe he's prepping for the tournament. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a secret material, you can target one card on the field or in either graveyard and banish it. Oh, that's bad. I'm going to get my board picked apart. How'd you wake up so early? It's 1.30. What the hell is that? Who played that? Which one of you was that? Why did they chain called by? Dual logs, aka daddy long legs. What? Damn it, they banished that card and then they can activate Changing to banish some more cards. <gasps> if I play this now, they can't possibly banish it. Sheep token. Wow, that sword soul guy. He's gonna destroy all of my tokens. This is what happens when you don't play floodgates. <gasps> oh no, all of my cards are gone. He's banished so many of my cards, and he has power of the guardians. Wow. Do you play Shirag? Of course I play Shirag. Was not expecting Power of the Guardians <laughs> on Chen <laughs> Now he extra can't be destroyed. <gasps> the Gentlemander. Wow, do I even have an out to this powerful board? Ooh, do they have an Earth Monster in the grave? They do have an Earth Monster in the grave. Discard one card, and your spell trap card zone, special summon if they're a monster, go this card. You can target one Therian monster or reptile monster in your graveyard, spell some this card from your hand, and if you do, equip that monster to this card. 
Unicorn isn't out? Who plays Unicorn? Cringe. Okay. Special summon. <gasps> Ooh, Reptilian Ichinda. That's an option. Are we winning? I don't know. Then we use Asuna to grab this card in attack position. Ooh, his effect might be relevant. Then, oh, I can go into Underworld Goddess. Do I want to, though? Let's see. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I, yeah, I can just go into it. I just gotta convert my token into a monster. Just assert dominance. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. I'm a genius. Um, Underworld Goddess. We'll use his monster. My monster's two materials. That one and that one. Look, I got rid of it without even having to destroy it. I just use it as a material. And then I can normal summon the Gentlemander. And just go for massive amounts of battle damage. Fuck, I have Dark Door out. My own Floodgate ham boned me. <laughs> oh my god, still. <laughs> I pretend not to see a misplay? Shut up. These are just my warm-up duels. I haven't even got to my real deck yet. I won! Reptile Exodia. You have a real deck? Of course I do. This isn't even my final form. Was that Dark Door? I'm realizing some mistakes with this deck. And the fact that it has no way to stop removal. It only deals with monster attacks, which is kind of dumb. I have no removal in this deck. Not even a little bit. I mean, I guess I have Lava Golem, technically. And I have lots of snakes, lots of serpents. What does this one do? Therion Irregular? What do the Therion cards do? I don't want to read them. So I won't. Oh no. Counter, counter? <gasps> Brilliant idea. Why didn't I think of that? The Gentlemander. I need to get rid of two more cards. Which two cards should I get rid of? Probably these two. Encounter, encounter? What? Why doesn't Locke say you tell them Poem anymore? I've never done that. Not a single time. Let's play some toss three coin deck. It's a little bit different from a gamble deck because it specifically uses cards that tosses three coins, not one. <laughs> Proceeds to change deck. These are just my warm up decks. The Walmart gamble deck? No, this is triple coin toss. It's amazing. Let's play Ally of Justice Quarantine. And then two cards face down. Okay. It's just funny how you edit one and then you switch to a different one. I'll play it again next time I stream. These are my warm-up decks. Okay, and immediately activate Soul of the Supreme King. To special summon the Ark. 
All right, this is Jax that just failed top 10 creations. Top 10 cards with triple in their name or three in their extra. That failed. Nah. That's a neat idea for a list, though. I was looking for some terrible ideas. Absolute garbage. Ooh, they actually activated a spell? Now I get negates, you absolute buffoon. A royal Zark. I love my royal Zark. He's my best friend. Okay, we'll get this card in attack position. We'll get this card in attack position. We'll get this card in attack position. And we'll get this card in attack position. Is this the deck for your tournament? No. I'm not playing in the tournament. Hi, Dulux. How are you? Uh, I'm managing. That looks painful to resolve. Yeah, it's great. Dude. I'm surprised there's so many people who are excited for the tournament. When they first came to me with the idea, I just thought, wow, that's neat, I guess. <laughs> Let's activate this so I can become immune to monster effects for the rest of the turn. And gain a whole bunch of attack points. Logs, with my idea, top 10 monsters of effects when flip summon but aren't flip monsters is a great idea. <gasps> that is a good idea. I still gotta look through the list. I got a whole bunch of lists. I, I asked for like specifically ideas for like terrible top 10 ideas. And I just got a whole bunch of really generic ones instead. There were a couple of really good, absolutely, incredibly specific, bad top 10 ideas, which I love. I'm going to probably do some of them. But there was also just a lot of just normal top 10 ideas. Crystal Clear, kind of too good. Also, same with Waking the Dragon. Crystal Clear is really good. A low entry requirement tournament on most popular platform being popular doesn't surprise me. I'm surprised there's so many people who are, like, into it. Wait, what did they do? Oh, they're trying to use changeover? That's fine. I can just negate it when they actually use the effect. Mr. Logs. I saw one of your clips the other day, and now for every minor inconvenience, I just let out you stupid bitch. <laughs> That's funny. The battle phase? Why aren't they using changeover? I wanted to negate it. Main phase, end phase, they're just gonna quit there. Are they gonna try to bounce my card or something? Do they have two forms of removal? Um. Oh, they can't go into changeover because Shio is light. <laughs> You absolute buffoon. We'll normal summon this card. And then we'll convert some of these cards. Dragon Maid downtime. Uh, return to the hand. And if you do add a Dragon Maid card, return it to the hand. And if you do return a spell trap, your opponent controls. That's fine. Go ahead. You can have it. I'd rather save my negate for... They have two downtimes? Are you kidding me? Who the hell runs a single downtime? Return it to your <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll negate the other one, since he doesn't have any other spell traps. Downtime is terrible. I know. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. So, like, the tournament thing. I thought it would be a fun little side project. I just have to put up, like, what, two to $4,000 and then have a couple of weekends dedicated to hosting a tournament. I was like, I'm going to do, I was planning on eventually hosting tournaments anyway, just for, just to try it out. This will be the greatest opportunity to just try them out, you know? We'll get rid of these ones. Oh, fuck. Why'd I put them in the extra monster zone? That one, that one, and that one. Okay. Rather put more negates. And let's go into the battle phase and start blasting. Attack that one. Activate Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Banish one card on the field. 
Okay, and then we attack with the other ones, because they can't go into Shio because I locked them out of it with my one ridiculously specific floodgate. Okay, and then... End phase. Because there's so many searchable into gates and maids. I want to join, but my PC is in repair. Well, there will be more of them. Yeah, but I was more surprised like how many of my um, VTuber friends were interested. Because I didn't think they would care about the tournament at all. And I'm also surprised so many of them just were not trying to pull like connections to get in. It's like, you think we don't want streamers in the tournament or something? Like, MBT was like, yeah, we'll let, you know, any of them in if they just message me. But no one did. <laughs> so I had to reach out to a lot of them. And some of them just got in the old-fashioned way like everyone else. Um, Let them go to their hand. Oh, I guess I should have did it so I get a little bit more attack power. Because I think they can beat over my cards. Oh, they can't. They can only beat over my floodgate. Hello, Mr. Logs in chat. Hello there. I didn't expect the slots to fill in the first five minutes, though. Yeah, neither did I. MBT said on stream of the day he'd make sure Leah got in for sure. The thing is, Leah just got in normally. I also told Leah I'd get her in. Oh! <gasps> Like, apparently Ame tried to get in too, but she wasn't able to. And I just randomly suggested to her on her stream, I was like, hey, you interested in the tournament? She's like, yeah, I was, but I wasn't able to get in. I was like, oh, I can just fucking get you in. <laughs> yeah, I sent her a link when the post went live. Yeah, but the thing is, if you sent her a link when the post went live, that doesn't matter because she still has to click on it. Because the links had a limited amount of invites to them. So all that means is she happened to click on the link fast enough within the first couple of minutes. Yeah, activate clear wing synchro dragon. In response. And then they're going to activate their quick effect to get destroyed my card. Oh, I knew we were chatting before it went live. Yeah, I mean, she was, like, at a computer, ready to go. Because you had to have, uh, signed up immediately. I mean, it was completely unnecessary. I could have got her in either way. But I'm just, like, surprised so many people were interested in the first place, because I just didn't think there would be interest from content creators to play in it. Hmm, I can go into BLS because he can't be targeted by anything. I can also normal summon Blowback Dragon to just destroy it with my Photon Blast. So normal summon. I love how this just acts as tribute fodder too. But I can understand why she'd want to get in normally and not want to talk to me to get in. <gasps> 500 damage? Ooh, nice. So, like, you know, I don't care that they got it normally. I'm just, like, surprised that they wanted to get in at all. <gasps> Coin toss. Let's go to the Fist of Fate deck now. Are you guys ready for Fist of Fate Sue Ship Exodia? You may be thinking, how does Obelisk Sue Ship work? And we're going to find out together because I haven't deck tested it at all. You just ruined his day? Good. You're not thinking there was any interest in the same conversation as I'm not a big streamer? I guess. I, to me, this is just a neat side project. And I still think of it like that, but I'm surprised that there's a lot of interest in this neat side project. But to be fair, when I first started the stream, I thought of it as a neat side project, too. And it ended up doing, like, a huge deal. 
Soup took a lot of bodies with normal, surprisingly. I know, right? Oh my god, nothing but Sioux ships. I guess I'm playing Sioux ships this round. Stream privilege for tournament is important since streamers can spread awareness of the tournament help them grow. I know! <laughs> like... <laughs> that's why we're, we're totally fine with like giving streamers, you know, VIP links to get in, but no one asked. They just got in normally. I mean, I guess they just didn't know, but... Even the people I offered didn't really like seem to take me up on it. I mean, I did eventually give a couple of links out. Like, I got Nova and Ame in for sure. But, like, that's it. Everybody else is going on their own. You didn't tell them? I did tell some of them. They just ignored me and got in normally anyway. A bot? <gasps> Easy win, then. Yeah, he normal summoned Luster Dragon. Man, I kind of want to run a tournament with just like normal monsters. The normal monster tournament. That sounds fun. But a pain to set up and organize. They were afraid of having to owe you one for it, Mr. Logs? That's stupid. That is just straight up stupid. I know how almost true that is, but I hate that that's true. Normal summon. Oh, fuck. I should have used this card first. I'm a stupid idiot. Special summon all of my Sioux ships from the hand. Select a card to show to your opponent. Summon it. Special summon it to the field. Special summon it to the field. Holy crap. <laughs> Literally everything. All of the cards are out now. <laughs> Target this one, change it to level 5, add designated card from your deck to your hand. The fleet is out. I can't believe how many cards I summoned. This is a redunculus. Uh, Ikaru can attack twice. We'll go into these two. Yeah, it's buffet time, Dreadnought. Activate Suship Uni. Then I can activate Ikara to maybe hit something from the top of the deck. Nope. And then we can activate this one. Special summon a goose ship monster from the hand. Place a card on top of your deck. Ooh. Now the top of my deck is stacked. Oh, I probably should do that first. <laughs> okay, now we have the double attacker out. It's the Sakana Sushi deck. It is the Sakana Sushi deck. Okay, and then we can go into Carrier. Man, how many Royal Rares do I have with this deck? The Exodia of Sushis. This hand was absolutely cracked. Okay, I can still go. I still have plays. <laughs> Sue ships Place one card on top of your deck. All right, I think we're done comboing off now. And another one. I'm sorry, no name. BM the <laughs> Yeah, just get out like four ships in one turn. I don't think I've ever summoned that many cards before playing two ships. That was just like a god hand. Whoa. The Prismatic Dreadnought. This will probably never happen again. Good, because I want to get off my Exodia. Not Exodia, the Obelisk stuff. Did you know you can run True Name in this deck because the field spell generates what's on the top of the deck? Uh, that is exactly why I'm playing Sioux Ships with it, so I can use True Name. You figured out the synergies. I'm pretty sure everyone else was, was wondering, like, why are you playing Sioux Ships with Exodia? Is it because it gets lots of bodies on the board? It does, but there's other decks that do it better. It's specifically because they also stack the top of the deck like crazy. Okay, card of the soul. Confirm. 
Add a card from your deck to your hand. Yeah, let's add Obelisk. Okay, and then we activate Painful Decision. Send this card to the graveyard. Add Gukun Suship Shari to my hand. And then I have no plays because I need to have another Suship in my hand. Well, I don't not have no plays. I have Soul of Supreme King, which is a pretty good play. Because if my opponent activates a spell card, then I can get into like four monsters and get Obelisk next turn. A true name for Suship? Yeah, true name is for Suship, but I need to have my Suship cards that let me stack the top of my deck. There's two of them, to my knowledge, that stack the top of the deck. And I don't have either of them right now. And one of them can be searched. Your opponent drew cards. Hello, I'm your opponent. Hello there, opponent. Better have some plays than to have no plays by bricking. So you should run three daily specials. Daily special sucks, though. Why would I play daily special? I'm surprised you admit you don't want to owe you one. People don't want to owe you one. I'm surprised you admit people don't want to owe you one. Wait, what? No, no, I mean like the whole concept of not asking for invite because they don't want to owe me one is stupid. That's what I was saying. I was like, owe me one, who gives a shit? I hate it when people are like that. Okay. How come it's not giving me options of like all of them? Oh, it's because this one isn't playing as much as the other one is. TLDR, excellent. <gasps> wow, he has a special animation? Excellent, whoa, amazing. Hello, Slay Logs, hello there. Hello, read chat, please. I did read chat, you just missed my uh, acknowledgement of your message. The sniped logs. <gasps> Oster. That was in my top 10 Black Wings video. Black Whirlwind? I should be able to negate that, right? Once per turn, when a spell or trap card is activated, destroy it. I heard you would make them lick their Micah's payments under spell not wanting to owe you one. They don't owe me anything. That's stupid. Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Yeah, let's activate this now so I can become immune to monster effects for the turn. Uh-oh. They lowered his attack. But now I have a 4,300 attacker. Maybe I should play the 3,000 attack Arc Rebellion just so he's a little bit harder to get over. No, so he doesn't deny the mic clicking thing. I don't have to deny every little thing you guys say. <clears throat> for things that are obviously not true. Any tips for new streamers? Yes. My biggest tip is to have the clout somewhere else outside of streaming because it's incredibly hard to grow as a streamer. There is my super helpful advice of the day. However, even if you have clout someone else, it's also still hard to grow as a streamer. I've seen so many people unsuccessfully leverage their existing audiences into a stream that it's kind of hilarious. Mate time, here you go. Good sure newbie meta since they're using black wings and would use a deck of them. Can Shiri Nui be meta? Can Shiri Nui be meta? Since they're using black wings. What does that even mean? I don't understand your message. <laughs> no, they can't be meta. And no, using black wings won't change that. Call me worthless? I'll do that after this duel is over. Uh-oh, what are they doing? Are they going to OTK? FTK? <gasps> Raid Raptors Knight Rank Up Magic Force? Wait, are they playing Raid Raptors, not freaking black wings? Oh, goodness gracious. 
Arsenal Falcon. Are they going to go into Ultimate Falcon? Detach one material, special one level four Blackwing monster from your deck. If only I can get out Obelisk the Tormentor, then I wouldn't have to worry about any of this. Blackwing Zephyros the Elite. Whoa, it summons a... Special one, and if you do attach as material, special one, a level four or lower Bing... A level four Wing Beast monster from your deck. So they use that to get out Zephyros. Are they going into some kind of combo? Finally can catch your stream. Hello there. What about streamers who don't care about growing immediately? Got any ideas for what to do if you don't have an audience? Yeah, of course I do. Oh, fuck. Raiders Knight? Into Ark Rebellion? Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think they would pivot into Ark Rebellion. That wasn't something I thought was going to happen. If it was pure Black Wings, I would have been fine. Okay. Chase with haste. You're worthless. You piece of garbage. I hate you. And I hope you have a bad day. I want to get off Fist of Fate. I will not stop streaming until I get off Fist of Fate one time. Wow, so rude. Shut up, Ame. I still... Hello there, Ame. Welcome. It is always a happy occasion when we when you grace your presence with to chat. They they love your presence so much that it's kind of crazy. He never redeemed praise me. You're gonna have to wait until after this duel is over. What's the condition of Fist of Fate? Um, I just need to have Obelisk on the field. That's it. And Fist of Fate in my hand. Those two things are a lot harder to accomplish than you'd think. <laughs> so my way of trying to get it off is just to play a whole bunch of duels, and eventually those two things will happen at the same time. Because Fist of Fate isn't really a card that wins you the game. It's just like an incredibly specific support card for Obelisk. But it's kind of hard to get Obelisk out. And there's no way to search out Fist of Fate. So I just have to get lucky. Yeah, I finally got you online. Hello there. Wow, that's a thing. Ame's been told. I've never told Ame to shut up. Guys, did you know Ame has a million skebs? I had no idea until yesterday. This is log stream Ame. Of course it's a thing. Wait, what? I mean, like, I don't know what my, um, my freaking mods do. Hi, Stinky. <gasps> is that Nova Aokami? I wish I can get that many skebs. My skebs are great. Yeah, she has like 80 skebs. It's crazy. I had no idea. I don't know any other VTuber who has more skebs than Ame. And I just didn't think Ame was the person who would be the 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 queen of Skeb. <laughs> Leave me alone. There's there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not making fun of you. You will cover your deck and place on top of your deck. Then if your opponent, uh, let's just go into this. I'm supporting my beloved artist. I can see why you need to work your day job. That's for sure. Also, isn't Nova at her day job right now? I'm surprised she has a job that just lets her like watch anime and streams. How nice. I wish I could watch anime and streams while I'm working. What is a scab? A uh, scab is just a website to easily commission Japanese artists for stuff. Select cards from your deck. It just places it on top of the deck, right? So probably Gukin Suship. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Uh, activate. Select a monster to change its level. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Add a card from your deck to your hand. Oh, actually, yeah, this is pretty good. AR done by humans. I barely do anything. That is amazing. Wait, why can't I summon anything? Oh, it's because of the Dragon Lord. I'm floodgated. Oh, okay. I forgot I was playing against the floodgate. Ame would never commission lewd art. I can see Ame doing that. 
That sounds exactly like something Ame would do. I wish I had that job too. That's so crazy that they just pay you to show up and watch anime. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I can watch streams too while I'm working, but like I'm actually working all day because I have so much shit to do. I'm Say So AF. Rune? No, you're not. Do you want me to bring up your Twitter on stream? No, I can't do that because it's NSFW. What kind of floodgates are we playing today? I'm not playing any. God damn it, this hand sucks. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> the fire. Why? Why? Why does this keep happening? I got nothing. This fucking deck, it's so garbage. I hate it. I literally have no plays. Oh, awesome. I drew it to all three of my obelisks. Amazing. That's great. Ami has innocent art on her Twitter. Very true. She does. I don't know why she's pretending not to. She's very NSFW and then pretends not to be. Oh my god, hi logs. <gasps> it's Tina Chino. Welcome. You are a welcomed, valued member of this community. And we in chat here love Tina Chino more than any of the other valued members of our community. It is a competition and you're winning. Ad Emancipators. Well, this isn't my game. Thank you for your prime sub, Tina Chino. Always appreciated. Your prime sub means more to me than, than all the other prime subs. I'm going to say mean things to you now. You wouldn't... Wait, have you been restricting yourself? Have you been trying not to say mean things to me? I've seen you on your stream. I've seen you play the clips of my stuff. Well, you guys want to hear Ame's clip? Yeah, duologues. You're so cool and mysterious. Can you believe Ame said that? It's so good. Here, let me play it again for you guys. Yeah, duologues. You're so cool and mysterious. <gasps> Thank you for the, the prime sub, um, Ame Solaris Music. Much appreciated. Pot of Desires. Last night, someone asked why I had so many feed emotes, and then I realized they're all because of you. Well, I only have, like, three feed emotes. And then just other people have feed emotes, too, you know? Copium, copium. Why are you spamming copium? I don't get it. What's copium? What is copium? Anything I did. That's too many? No, it's not enough. I need to get a lick emote, too. Because if I go over to, like, the ghost model, the ghost has the ability to lick. Watch. Hey, chat. Thanks for the $10 super chat. Here's my mic lick. Blah, 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 blah. I need to find a way to turn that into an emote. Man, resizing it back up here is a pain in the ass. I wish I had, like, a working thing that allowed me to just, like, make it bigger on a button push. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious, Sword Soul Tenyi? Amazing. I think one was already too much. No, I need more. Logs equals Gengar? Exactly. <gasps> Two negates? Wow. Gukun Suship Shari. The lewd logs? Unsay so? Ame. It's like, what is it? The pot calling the kettle black? Oh, wait, this won't work because he did damage to me. Hopefully he negates it and doesn't know that. Then I can't actually use it to search out my card. <laughs> there is no applicable card in the deck because he fucked with my life point value. Why did I go against the one goddamn deck in the world? Oh, that fucks with me. Barone? Oh no, it's a Barone. The lewd log? Shut the hell up. You're lewd. Okay, Uni, Normal Summon, Gukan Suship Shari, Maxi. Wow, we got the tryhards in chat today. The tryhards in gold today, I mean. Okay, wait, am I not playing Maxi in my deck? I gotta take a look at my deck. I think my deck might be bad. Uh, Gukun Suship Shiryo. Which one does this one have? Ikara Shiryo. Oh, it's this one. It's the one that searches. 
Well, I might be a tryhard, but I have feels. Psh. If you're a meta player, do you even have emotions? Okay. Oh no, they're gonna negate my effects. Wait, can one of these guys attack directly? I don't think so. I hate that it also stops my other card. Oh my god, they're just going super try hard right now. Okay, um, if they hadn't done damage to me, I might have been able to actually do something. If they hadn't damaged me with just a tiny bit of effect damage, I would have been able to tribute their board for a freaking obelisk. That would have been awesome. But I don't think that's happening this time, Chief. The rank 5 attacks directly? They would have negated the effect anyway. But I also can't go into the rank 5 because he stopped it. <clears throat> a second maxi? Holy shit. Could be worse. You could be playing Runic. Musketeer deck in casual. That is a casual deck though. But why would you play Runic Musketeer when you can play Labyrinth Musketeer? Extra deck, destroy one of those monsters, special summon from the extra deck. Oh, what the fuck does this card even do? <laughs> and they're using infinite impermanence. What are they doing? Is that Zark? Do you not know what this card is, Nova Ayokami? Soul of the Supreme King? Ooh, I can activate the effect of a card. What does this do when it's destroyed? I've never had anyone actually destroy this card before. Also, why'd they negate its effect? Into the Pendulum Zone. What's its Pendulum effect? Uh, Fusion, Synchro, and Exes monsters your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Holy shit! Once per turn, when a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, except in a draw phase, you can destroy that card. Oh my god, that's a good pendulum effect. That's actually funny. He can't activate his effects. I mean, I'm gonna lose his turn, but like, wow. It's a broken effect. That's actually really good. He do be floodgating. Okay, well, we are in gold three, so that it makes sense that we'd go against a, uh, a tenyi. A Sword Soul 10 year eventually. I'm still trying to get off the Fist of Fate, but I have yet to summon Obelisk a single time. Have you seen Perform Power 5 Rainbow Magic? Yeah, that's like a tech card in Labyrinth. First time catching you live, love your videos. On Cyber Ogre? Wait, what about Cyborg Ogre? Also, why thank you? Oh, you use the trap to get it out? Yeah, you use um, Soul of Supreme King to cheat it out, and then when your opponent activates a spell card, you can then cheat out uh, three other monsters. Damn it, I really gotta stop going second. I also, I should probably play some going second cards. <gasps> a Pendulum Magician deck? You know, that's, good, that's cool for you, but I ain't sitting through that. You love going second? I've been going second every goddamn fucking duel. What? The WTF Raffle Mount? I have to play just a whole bunch of going second cards just to... Just to... F frickin' frick. And then we'll play one of these and one of these and one of these. There. Now I don't have to worry about going second anymore. And then we'll remove one of these, and then we'll remove one of those, and then... Whatever, who cares? I have going second cards now. Oh yes, three Nibiru's, just one Nibiru. Oh, you did have a three base top ten? I was going crazy, so I remember the top ten cards summoned exactly three monsters. Not the same as triple three mentioned, but close enough to bug me. Oh yeah, I did have a video on top three cards that summon exactly three monsters and no others. I had a Math Mech card on there. Oh, I want to play Math Mech. I want to try my Math Mech deck. I have a math mech deck that has marine cess in it. I was telling Ame about it, but she was like, dual logs, please don't speak to me. And I was like, okay, I respect your decision and candor, and I will not speak to you anymore. But that still made me want to try it out anyway. Oh, <gasps> I actually went first? No way. I don't have any, I don't have any stuff to do. 
Um, which one of the Gukin the Sioux ship cards is the negate? I forget. I love your YouTube videos. Why, thank you. Wow, completely whiffed. Uh, this attack twice. This one searches. I. Oh wait 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 wait. Why don't I play Baguska? Why is my Baguska at? Am I actually stupid? I don't have Baguska. The gaslight logs. Ame would never. Wait, isn't Ame at work right now? How many of y'all people can watch streams while at work? Ooh, Gukin Suship Shari. Excellent. I can't use it. We love Ame in this dual logs house. Marine says being cybers is so annoying to me. Like at least salads are fire robots. Aren't they all cybers because they were released like in the anime or something? It's anime lore. And now you only draw to your going second cards, going first? Good. Well, I mean, I'm not really playing a going first deck. It's a gimmick deck, but I keep going second and I can't play through my opponent's floodgates. Or negates. They surrendered? What the hell kind of hand did they have where they surrendered against that board? <laughs> oh, okay. What's with all these losses? Holy shit. That was a lot of losses in a row. Have you seen the new prank math mech variant? Do you guys want to see my marine cess math mech variant? Completely style upon these gold people. Gold be weird today. Maybe it's because I'm playing the middle of the day. Yes. Excellent. With all these losses, did you forget those streams where you're in Mr. Logs? Who stream? What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, I still have yet to draw into my combo. But I have other things I can do, I guess. Painful decision. Send Gukin Suship Shari to the grave. Add Shari to my hand. Okay. Wait, what does this one do? Reveal one card in your deck and place it on top of your deck. Then your opponent reveals one card from their deck and place it on top of their deck. Ooh, reveal one of the Gukin Sushi cards. Pull some of this card from your hand that applies effect. A special summon the other monster. Place a monster on the bottom of your deck. Target a Gukin card. You control. Sushi Shari. Okay, okay. I know what I'm going to do. We'll use Uni to reveal Shari. Then special summon them both to the field. Special summon this one to the field. Then, special summon Ikaria, who will then allow me to reveal the top three cards of my deck. So I'm going to stack the top of my deck with a Suship Gukin Shari. That way I can guarantee the result of the effect. And then I'm going to give my opponent any card they want from their deck and they'll draw into it on the next turn. Which hopefully isn't like an amazing going second board breaker. Which won't matter if I go into Obelisk the Tormentor, but I'm never going into Obelisk because it never draws into it. Keeper of Draconic Magic. Cool, cool. Then we activate Gukin Suship. <gasps> wow, I have a Shari on top of the deck. Amazing. Ooh, two of them, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Special summon it to the field. Okay, then we'll use this one. Target this card, change it to level 5. Add a designated card from your deck to your hand. Hell yeah, I want to add a card from my deck to the hand. Oh, I forgot I did that. Okay, then we'll go into the rank 5, because it has a negate. And will draw me another card. I've been playing this for a week. First Gukinsu ships, and now Medulches. Medulches are so boring. Do people play Medulches seriously? Okay, and then we'll go into Shari. Carrier. Shario class carrier. To search a card from the top. True name. Oh, I have true name. But I don't have a way to stack the top of my deck. Activate Gukin Suship Shari. Reveal Gukin Suship Shari in my hand. To special summon Gukin Suship Shari. And select a card to special summon from your deck. This one stacks top of my deck, right? As a material during your main phase, special summon Gukin's monster from your hand. Then take any number cards so you can start in deck and place them on top of your deck in any order you want. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> it's going immediately into a carrier. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I made a mistake! Oh well, I can use these to go into utopic future. I forgot I could do this. I really brick. Oh, uh, I totally forgot this was an available line to this deck. No crazy box? Shut up. You're a crazy box. And then this has a negate during the main phase, right? Once per turn, during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can target physical cards upon control of the number of Gukin monsters you control, spells from the action deck, negate their effects. Oh, it's only during their battle phase. Okay. I really like, but then again, I do have a pink and a kaiju in my small world bridges. Oh. I started crafting Medulce deck today. I hate Medulces. They suck. Well, they don't suck. They're pretty good. I just don't like. They're they're not too bad. I don't know. I don't know why I say that. Gukins, uh, Medulces are all right. It gets wilder when you realize that Time Thief Gukin Suship lets you have Mega Clops and Redoer plus the spell Trap Negate Turn One. Wait, what now? Oh. <gasps> Called by? They're gonna called by my maxi? Oh my goodness gracious, that's unfortunate. Now they're gonna be able to special summon a monster from their deck. Finally caught you live. Been a fan of a long time, just wanted to say your lovely videos and you really help me get through dark times. Thank you for the fun times. <gasps> Glad to hear it. Aqua. The useless goddess. Ooh, I love Konosuba. We were watching that in Hina's Discord server. The Fallen of Albazian? Y'all, how nice. I will say the statistical likelihood of uh, the videos I'm making helping someone, seeing as I'm in an entertainment industry, are incredibly high. Generally, people turn towards entertainment when they're in dark times in order to be distracted from their life. That's what I do. All I do is distract myself all day with work, and then at night, I'm a mess. <laughs> Who here can relate? Any anyone else here? Distract yourself all day with work. And then at night when you're alone with your thoughts, you're like, oh no. Just like me for real for real. Looks like Medulce lover Tina gets angry every time Log says Medulce sucks. Dude, there are some people who get so mad when I say that their deck sucks, they'll come to my streams and be like, Hey, is this the guy who hates blue eyes? I'd be like, oh, um, you must have watched one of my videos where I said they were bad. You're like, yeah, I'll have you know, I topped, you know, my locals with blue eyes. It's like, well, no way. It's crazy. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you understand what competitive means? They're like, yeah, it means it wins. It's like, no, no, it tops actual tournaments. How many topping places do you have in an official sanctioned event? You absolute buffoon, you moron. And then they say, well, in this imagined scenario, I'm very rational. So I would say, none. You are correct in the duologues, and I take back my initial arguments. And then they clap. <gasps> Ooh, let's negate its effects, and it does nothing because I can't be destroyed by battle, idiot. Worthless of doing, but for the blue eyes deck. Wait, what did that even do? <laughs> I don't have Uni underneath, do I? Oh, I do have Uni underneath. I just watch Netflix some shit get distracted until I fall asleep. Dude, I was thinking about today. So many people were talking about like, oh no, Netflix, they're they're ruining it. No one's gonna watch, you know, they're gonna pirate everything. And it's like, am I the only person who like doesn't fucking watch Netflix? Or like anything? All I watch is like Twitch and YouTube. Wait, what? By sending monsters of the above cards from any monster zones to the graveyard. Are you kidding me, right, Meow? Whoa. Oh, it's a permanent negate. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just like until the end of the turn. I didn't even notice that other part of it. Yeah, I don't care about Netflix. I mean, who fucking watches Netflix? That's cringe. Uh, this card can attack a number of times. Battle phase with the number of monsters used for it during the end phase. Okay, so it doesn't do anything I need to negate. I can't use true name because I still don't have any of my goddamn fucking stackers. So, um, I also can't use his effect because I need to have a Gukin Suship monster in my hand. So we'll just attack and destroy. Oh, uh, I still have two more materials left. I can probably go into a Zeus. Did I have Zeus in this deck? I don't remember. Main phase two. No, I forgot to add Zeus. There's a lot of cards I forgot to add to this deck because I built it by myself. Like a big boy. 
Yeah, let's negate. You absolute buffoon. But how else am I going to watch Sonic Prime? I know, right? But you are a Wee Blogs? No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I also watch anime. That's the only, like, subscription service that I watch very regularly. Because I have a subscription to, like, all two anime services, Crunchyroll and High Dive. So I watch copious amounts of anime as well. I love anime. I take time out of my day to watch my animes. My Japanese anime cartoons. Oh, god damn it. Well, man, I freaking love the protection that Utopic Draco Future has. He's just, like, immune to everything. Vinland Saga? Yeah, Vinland Saga is pretty good. Funimation? You don't need a Funimation subscription anymore because they combined it over to um, Crunchyroll. High Dive? Cringe? I mean, you need it to watch um, shows. God damn it, I keep not drawing into anything good. Uh, why does this have 2,000 defense? This is some bull honky and I have no idea what's the top of my deck. Have you watched the new Bleach season? No, not yet. I really like Red Bleach and... You know, the final arc wasn't very good. I'm not in a super big hurry to watch it. I did see that they had some pretty animations for it, so I might watch it anyway. But, like, I read the manga when it came out all those years ago, and it wasn't very good. The final arc, I mean. Chat, you're missing so much summer class when high dive, Sag. What? Branded in red? <gasps> Do you relate to Bochi? No. I don't have social anxiety. I have no problems, like, spamming people with messages. <laughs> he lost in my suit ships. But I didn't get out my fucking god card. This is such bullshit. All I want to do is use the fucking card and it never fucking shows up. I have three copies of the goddamn card. I have to play the searcher. I have to play it at three copies. I have to remove some of these cards. Gukin Su ships, my Su ships. I need more my Sui ships. There, this should have better ratios. Uh, let's put in Zeus. Zeus, my beloved. Let's get rid of that card. It's actual garbage. Okay. Reincarnated as a sword. That one was all right. I read the manga when it came out. Social anxiety. That's literally me for real, for real. Wow, crazy. I just have like good old-fashioned anxiety. At night, I just think, like, wow. Um, all my friends hate me and they'll never talk to me again. Stuff like that. Not, oh no, I, I, I don't, I hope, I hope they don't think I'm dumb when I'm talking to them. Because, like, who gives a shit? They probably do, but they're too busy thinking about their own lives to care that much. You see, one of the biggest hallmarks, one of the biggest things that people who have social anxiety don't understand. Is that nobody cares about you. The whole factor of social anxiety and shyness is under the assumption that people, you know, scrutinize every little thing they do and say. But nobody cares about you. Like, nobody cares what you say. Nobody cares what you're doing. They're just waiting for their opportunity to talk about themselves or do their own things. Like, they got their own lives. Everybody is the protagonist of their, their, their own, like, world. And you're just a supporting character. So, like, they're not going to agonize over every little thing you say because, you know, you think you're the protagonist. If anything, social anxiety is fundamentally an incredibly self-centered philosophy which focuses on the fact that you're so important that people care this much about everything you have to say rationality doesn't work um to an extent you can definitely use ration logic and thinking in order to change yourself to an extent there are some other factors that might change it like what if you have some unresolved incredible trauma in the past but chances are, some people don't. And they're just, they just really have never thought of it before. They're just shy. They have years of it. Maybe it's temporary. And they just don't understand that people just don't care. They literally just don't get it. Because they've never been told before. Like, there are just some things, like, I think are just true. And then people, like, call me out. And I'm like, oh, wow. I've literally never given this a second thought. I just assumed it was true. And now that I know, I can, like, you know, work with that knowledge. It's a hard pill to solve for most people, Mr. Logs. <laughs> Use other approach. Can't relate. I don't like being talking in general. I love talking to people, but it's so time consuming. I don't have time to do it. Hmm. Card of the soul. Awesome. I can search out obelisk. 
rather not say what I have, but I have a, a neurodivergency, so... So what? Are you going to let that control your life, or is it an actual thing where you just literally can't do anything? I know some people who will use their uh, conditions as excuses to not bother to try to change. Whereas a lot of the books I read in psychology and self-help all say medication can only get you so far, but you also need to try to improve yourself as well. Hmm, I need to search out my Gukin Suship Sharis. I need my Sharis in order to do all my stuff. Search out Gukin Suship Shari. Search out Shari, Shari, Shari. What does this one do? This one stacks up my deck. This one does nothing important. The real Egyptian god cards. I'm trying my best. Special summon. Select the card to show to your opponent. I'm going to get out three cards right now. I'm going to do it. But my opponent has a stronger card on the board, so I probably shouldn't. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Super Polly, oh you stupid bitch! <gasps> also, some I freaking hate when people use their disability excuse. Honestly, yeah, so do I. I have I know some people who uh, use their neurodivergencies as an excuse for everything, and it's like, wow, that must suck to think you have no control over your life. Okay, we'll choose this one. Change it to level four. Special summon one more card, and I can't go into this one because I got rid of it. But I can use my normal summon for something at the very least. A level four. Place one card on top of your deck. No. I was trying to use an excuse. I'm not saying you were. I'm saying I know people who do that. Okay. Ooh, I have one in my hand. Place a card atop of your deck. Yeah, all of them. Literally all five copies of them. The therapy logs. I'm not giving you guys therapy. I need therapy. Uh, place one card on the top of your deck. Whoa, special summon. Another one. I needed this stream today. Why? You guys want to see some... <laughs> Sioux ships going absolutely hog wild? Let's see here. Uh, Ikari. Do I have an Ikari on the field? No, I have Shirai. I can use this to search out a Sushi card, but I already have the one Sushi card in my hand. So what I can probably do is just go into Utopic Draco Future. Or I can go into... Yeah, I'm just going to go into Utopic Draco Future. We need this Sushi ships. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. <gasps> Ooh, can I draw a card? Ooh... Ooh, another Sioux ship card. All right, and then we'll go into another one. He's just like, be for real, for real. Okay, and then we have both of these cards out in the field. Then we can use them to go into Utopic Draco Future. It's that wacky tabacky. Hopefully they don't have any disruptions. Okay. Dark Rebellion, so underrated. I probably could have just went into Zeus to wipe the field. Can't you just FDK with Dark Rebellion? Um, no. That's the wrong Dark Rebellion. You guys are thinking of the other one. I can't believe he's super polymerized. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Stormy Mirror Fort. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Not again. How does this always happen? This is one of you bitches, isn't it? This is one of you guys in chat. No one plays Mirror Force. I knocked my camera over. Hello there, chat. This is me, the cool and composed logs. I would never get angry over a children's card game. It's always the goddamn Mirror Force. How, how does this always happen? How? Why do you guys play Mirror Force? This is one of you guys, isn't it? No one plays this many Mirror Forces. You guys are doing this specifically. Specifically. No, it can't be. That's just that's just cope. I'm creating conspiracy theories with no evidence. 
Does this count as dreams? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> who the fuck plays Mirror Force? <laughs> who plays Drowning? Who plays the goddamn Mirror Force? Nobody plays Mirror Force. It's a garbage card. Battle traps. Check if they have Mirror Force launcher afterwards. Oh my goodness gracious. Why don't you play Mirror Forces? Because they're garbage. Mirror Force. Getting Mirror Force compilation. Why is it so freaking common? We're getting ready for the tournament? <gasps> I'm not. I'm never getting my Obelisk card out, ever. I've never gotten the combo off a single goddamn fucking time. I haven't even gotten Obelisk out on the field a single time, let alone getting him and Fist of Fate. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to do the Peanutter Praise Me thing. Peanutter, you are a valued member of the community. And you're doing a good job. I'm proud of you. I need to go take a piss. Hey, it's me, the Duologs. I'm here from the moon. We do streams here. Here, I'm here to sell you my Twitch channel. What we do normally here is play Yu-Gi-Oh! Here's a wonderful clip of the exciting gameplay we, we have to provide here. Okay, so you guys want the feet deck, right? Yes! I'm not gonna show you what's in it. Well, you guys already saw. All right, it's time for feet deck. Heck yeah, let's. What does this card do? Occasionally, we also have a, uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh! game show where, we're, where we have wonderful contestants on where they can win uh, amazing prizes. You think it's four? Is yes. this your final answer? If it's not, then I will, uh, I will stop playing Virtual World. <gasps> I'm not actually gonna stop playing Virtual World. I'm not gonna stop playing <laughs> Virtual World. It was a lie. I was, I was goofing. I was goofing, guys. <laughs> Also, I am considered the fifth best custom card reviewer, which is a very heavily contested category of custom card reviews. Here's one of the amazing custom card reviews that we've reviewed on this custom card review show. Next up, we have VW Thunder Catapult. <gasps> like the artists, of the yes, like there are like artists who follow me on Twitter who'd like to make custom cards. So they make custom artwork for their custom cards. Like, there are people who go all out for this. And also, sometimes we'll have a choose your own adventure where we, we choose your own adventure. Stuck in a jail cell. I have a, is there a harem ending possible? Sure, why not? You guys are currently stuck in a jail cell. You guys go over and talk to her. Since this is chat, I'm assuming you guys would say, uh, can I lick your feet? And she'd be just like, what? You know, because I assume you guys can't talk to women. And she's like, ugh, you gross creature. And then she spits on you. You guys seem very excited about that. You have plus one to morale. And that's it for the twitch.tv slash the dual logs Which spider. Which is playing? This is a public service announcement. Remember everybody. Why is it playing that one? That ad sucks. Hello there. It is I, What's the dual logs. I am here to teach you guys about how to start. That's the worst ad out of all of them. <gasps> Thanks for the sub, Raz Chez Eleven. Uh, 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 let's play some more Sioux ships, obelisks, and never get out fucking obelisk ever, 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 ever. <sighs> I miss you, choose your own adventures. I could only do those back when I actually had free time. Hiring voice actors is contributing towards maybe having free time one of these days again. Currently, my free time is non-existent. Imagine having your ads interrupted by a streamer. I know, right? Cringe. How's your desk? My desk is fine. It's very sturdy. I can hit it as much as I want. Apprentice Illusion Magician. 
I have Soul Crossing. An Obelisk. If I draw into Fist of Fate, I might be able to do something. Might is the keyword. If you control a Gukin Fuship Shari or an XYZ monster that has it as material, spell some this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can spell some one Gukin monster from your hand, except for another copy of this card. Then you can take any number of Gukin Suship Sharis from your deck or graveyard and place them on top of your deck in any order. Oh my goodness gracious. Loggy, sniff sniff, hello there Meowie, long time no see. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Or I guess I hope you have a good day. Not are having. <gasps> I can go into Soul Crossing! I can finally do this! Okay. All I need to do is just normal summon this goddamn card, activate the effect of Gukin Suship, special place this card on top of my deck, and then activate Soul Crossing. Hi, Latios. Don't say hi to Latios. I hate Latios. Okay, and then we go into Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> hi, gamers. Hello there, gamers. I'm trying my best at work. I'll be listening. Excellent. Good to hear. Praise me? I ain't praising you. Can we ban Latios? Wow, I can't believe you wasted your points. Obelisk, the tormentor implies the existence of a tormented monster. Meow, you have the ban him. <laughs> I'm a mobile. I can't mod properly. I think they have like a special window for mod stuff if you're on mobile. I'm not sure how it works because I don't really use mobile in order to mod. I don't mod anything. I barely mod my own chat. No, the reason Meowie has mod is specifically so that she can ban people who use logging. What are they doing? Are they playing Dark Magicians with Chicken Game and they draw a card? Whoa, amazing. End phase. <gasps> if I draw into Fist of Fate, I can finally resolve the effect of the card. Oh, but I know what my next card is. Can I delay for a little bit to try to draw into Fist of Fate? I really want to draw into Fist of Fate. What if I just, like, forget that Chicken Game is on the field, you know? What if I just, like, forgot and then just, um... Uh... <laughs> And I just don't destroy it or do anything about it. Oh. Oh, well, Maxi. All right, guess I'm not doing anything. Nothing personnel, kid. Okay, Loggy. Oh my god, I will kill you. Don't you dare. Ban Latios for her, their crimes and sins. You guys don't even know what, what they've done. You guys don't know what I've been through. The pain that they've caused me. Ooh, I can activate Obelisk the Tormentor now, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to attack. I'm going to attack into Link Karibo, then they're going to attribute this stuff. And then we'll attack with Obelisk the Tormentor for game, and then it doesn't work because Chicken Game. Oh no, how surprising. I had no idea that was going to happen. Don't call him Loggy. I did my job for once. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good one, Aku Miaoi. <laughs> Another chicken game. Oh no, I'm going to get completely ham boned. What am I going to do? I really just want to resolve Fist of Fate a single time. But I never draw into the card. He's killing himself for you? Wait, Aku's a mod? Yeah, yeah, she's a mod. Okay, Magician Souls. What if I added Magician Souls engine? You think that would help my chances of drawing into the goddamn card? God damn it, don't get rid of your chicken game. How else am I supposed to not be able to kill you? Link Karibo. Wow, they're just changing everything. Logs look a bit soggy today. If only there was a proportional of logs and soggy I could use. Wait, what? 
What are they even doing? I don't know. I'm searching out another card. Magician Salvation. Oh, that's a good one to search. When this card's activated, set one eternal soul directly from your deck. Amazing. <gasps> Ooh, Obelisk actually has protection. I forgot about that. He can't be destroyed. He can't be targeted. So even if they get Magician Circle out, they can't get rid of my Tormentor because I don't have non-target removal. The Unexpected Die. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, Special Summon. Shirayo. Wait, she ra u o. How the fuck do you pronounce this? She ra u o. She ra u o. We want this one on top. Okay, she ra u o. She ra u o. She ra u o. Okay, and then she ra u o. Shari is the one for the double attacker. I'm just going to this card to draw a card, basically. Shirai Uwu, Shai Ryu. What did they do it to Latios? What? What are you guys talking about? <gasps> Ash Blossom? Oh my god. Why are you Ash Blossoming my one draw? You absolute buffoon. How dare you? Hmm. <sighs> Now my next draw is going to be a goddamn Sioux ship card. Activate Link Karibo. Reduces attack to zero. Continue the attack? Yeah, attack directly. As long as my XYZ monster declares and successfully attacks, then I can go into Zeus. Watch out, they have Mirror Force? There's no way they have another Mirror Force. They didn't use the effect? Did they forget? Special summon a Dark Magician from your graveyard and or hand. Here comes Dark Magician to block the attack of the Tormentor. <gasps> the Tormentor! Ooh, ooh, what is this? If you normal summon a Special Summon Dark Magician, you can target one of those monsters, special summon one Dark Magician from your graveyard with a different name than that monster. Why do you put him in attack position? Uh, I think they're a new player. I really wanted to go into Fist of Fate, but he's not going to let me do this. <laughs> I have to stop my attack because he's stupid. <laughs> Where's my fist of fate? Give me fist of fate. The BM logs, we do a little bit of trolling. Who actually plays around fist of fate? He's not playing around anything. I want fist of fate. I just want to use it. So I'm intentionally stalling out a win so that I can get it. Uh, also known as the BM. BMing AF. I might as well just win, you know? You know what you need to slash draw engine? Slash draw is not an engine. I don't know why you're you're saying that. Hello YouTube, this isn't going on YouTube. Oh my God, look at all these dark magicians they have out. The rank sevens are pretty good. There's no rank seven negate. Oh, there is a rank 6 monster negate, though. I should probably clear the field now. Mr. Logs is bullying. <gasps> Big Eye. Okay, let's get these cards in the grave. Oh, I probably should have kept it. Because if you control an Xyz monster as Gukin Suship Shari as a material, I could have special some of this card from my hand. Wow, look at all those really useful beat sticks. I know, right? They only have a thousand life points left. I'm so ham boned right now. Oh, and then they just left. <sighs> I 
Why is it so impossible to draw into Fist of Fate? Maybe I should just play three copies of Top Share. Just play Pot of Greed? Shut up. Triple that card. Painful decision. Let's get rid of this one. I need card of the soul in order to draw into my obelisk the tormentor. This should work. Hopefully this works. Maybe run left arm offering. Dude, I might. I might just so I get fist of fate. Left arm offering. And then I'll trim my Gukin engine slightly to make room for it. Now I have to draw into a Fist of Fate. There's no way I can't draw into this goddamn card, which is never in my hand. And then maybe I can also summon out Obelisk, which is also an ordeal in itself. God, why are these cards so bad? Logs wants to ban Latios. What for? That was the joke. Also, hi Logs, long time no see. Hello there, Sir Kalen. Imagine being able to search out cards from the other archetype, but not this archetype. I know, right? A hero lives. Uh oh. Oh, I would have had Fist of Fate. This hand gives me Fist of Fate. <laughs> <gasps> Elemental Hero Shadow. Thirty minute hero combo to net set up a single negate. I know, right? Cringe. Well, I can at least put Soul Crossing on top of my deck and then draw into it and then get out Obelisk using their monsters. Here comes the Dark Angel Turbo. I've never seen anyone actually do the Dark Angel combo. I think there was Yugo Anna and Twig that called Hero a Floodgate deck with extra steps, and to be honest, I kind of see it. That's true. What are they doing? Going into Cross Crusader. <clears throat> Bring back Malicious, and then they're going to search out another hero monster from their deck. By tributing the malicious. Oh, no, they're going to increase first to tribute the card. To bring out increase and then Vion from the deck. You live heroes alone, we work hard for our W's. Psh. Vion from the deck. Then, what are they going to send to the graveyard? They already have malicious in the grave. <clears throat> what other target could they possibly have? A Shadow Mist? Didn't they already send Shadow Mist to the grave too? Is there a third target? Denier? Oh yeah, I guess that's a card too. It just didn't occur to me that they'd play Denier. Okay, and then Vion to banish a card in order to add Polymerization from their deck to their hand to go into a poly play. Wow, amazing. <gasps> Who are they going to go into with Polymerization? You think maybe that one card that searches out Miracle Fusion? Can I get a praise, please? Sure thing. After this duel's over. Someone remind me. Okay. Then we get Destiny Hero Malicious. <clears throat> it comes back, and then they can use Denier to reset it to use it for another time. Oh, now they're going to use Cross Crusader to tribute it in order to search out a hero monster from the deck to your hand. What are they going to add? A Neos? Give the unfulfilled praise to me how she deserves it. Shut up. Stop trying to make your redeem worth something. Oh, they're adding that card. Uh-oh. I forgot that was an option. Oh, no. Have it normal summoned, right? I don't know if they normal summon and then use Denier, and then they're going to reset Malicious so they can use it one more time. 
and they still haven't used polymerization yet and they also have destroyer phoenix enforcer and they're going to have a, a one-sided floodgate that must mean they already have a mass change in hand uh, i don't think my board can deal with having my monster effects turned off and dealing with a uh, destiny hero destroyer phoenix enforcer all at the same time <gasps> Okay, Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Cool. Oh, they polyed into Phoenix Enforcer? Not into the Miracle Fusion Searcher? Have you successfully used Fist of Fate a single time? I've drawn into Fist of Fate once, and I wasn't able to use it. My biggest problem is the fact that it's a garbage card, and it's hard to use. He'll bring Polly back. Oh yeah, he can bring Polly back with that one Link 2 hero card. Oh my god, is he learning heroes? Does he not know where to go from here? Did he make a mistake? Was he deciding to go into Plasma in his hand? All I need to do is just summon out Obelisk for my hand and then... Requires three tributes to normal summon this card. Destiny Hero Plasma. Oh wait, there's an easier way to get Obelisk out. I can just put it in the graveyard and then special summon it. You know, I was going to try to summon it with just like freaking True Name, but I'm never drawn into True Name either. And the fucking Gookip... Ooh, Soul Crossing. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> they only ended on two monsters? I can change Soul Crossing to the effect of Destiny Hero. So I'll go into Uni, reveal Shari. Since these effects resolve in the hand, I should be able to use them. They didn't go into Mass Law. Special summon it to the field. Okay, okay. Now we have four monsters in the field. If he activates Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, I can change Soul Crossing and tribute it. Okay. Then, we'll special summon Ikari to the field. Okay, I need him to activate the effect of Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. There we go! Okay, then I can chain Soul Crossing to it. Because I have to do this first, because otherwise he can fuck up the field of cards. Okay. You absolute buffoon. You're gonna get totally shenanigated. He's gaming right now. Exactly. They scooped after I wipe their field. Let's see. I do have top share, so I can actually resolve Ikaru's effect. If I just top deck a card. But I can also resolve the effect of Uni. I don't know which one's better. I think Uni's probably better. Normal summon this card using three tributes. That card, that card, and this card. <laughs> Oh yeah, Phoenix Enforcer, the effect still goes off, but at least Phoenix Enforcer is gone now. So they can just destroy my Obelisk if they want, because it doesn't target. Go, go. I'm trying my best. I'm trying real hard right now. Okay, then we activate Uni, select this card, increase its level by one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, if I attack, they'll get increased back. So my best bet is just to pass. And hope they don't draw anything good. Oh my god. I got stopped by a gosh darn freaking Ash Blossom. Hopefully they don't draw any one card starters. No... No Stratos or anything. No Miracle Fusions. No Fusion Destinies. Oh, <gasps> nothing! I can try again! Ooh, Soul Supreme King, that's good! Okay. I can try it one more time. Activate Uni. Select this card. Oh, I could have used Top Share to 
Yeah, I don't need to. Add a card from your deck to your hand? Sure. Okay, now I have two level fives out on the field. Oh, I should have just added the other one. Uh, hopefully I draw into a Sioux ship card. If I do, then I can go into game. Assuming they don't have... Oops, I can draw a card. It doesn't matter either way. I can go into Zeus. And there's nothing they can do about it. <gasps> Another obelisk! Whoa! <laughs> okay, and then we attack. For 2,900 points of damage. And then they get increased back. Okay. Main phase two, and we go into Zeus. Oh wait, I can use it to negate effects, I guess. Or I can just go into Zeus to get rid of all their cards, because fuck them. 1100 points of damage. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll wipe the field, leaving Suship on the field, because I can use his effect for stuff. <gasps> Called by the grave? Okay, that's not going to stop Zeus. Oh no, they're going to banish my obelisk? Hazukashi. Oh no, my obelisk. Oh, it was a mass change. Oh, how cute. His mass change is gone, guys. I got rid of his mass change. And now I have Su Soul the Supreme King. Wow. What a close duel. But there's nothing they can do now to win. They're completely ham boned now that I have Soul the Supreme King out. Because they can't use a spell card. If they use a spell card, then I get my negates. So even if they draw into like a miracle fusion. Ooh, a Stratos! Can they get over a 4,000 attack beat stick and a 3,000 defense wall? Another god? Stratos is a good card to draw off the top of the deck. I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can do here because I can just go into my negate. They can? They can what? They can do nothing? They can't full combo from a Stratos. They can add Honest Neos, but that's not going to do anything. Because my life points aren't low enough, well that will beat me. They can destroy one of my cards, but I have two of them out. If they have a Dusted Gold. Oh yeah, a Dusted Gold can wipe the field. But before they do that, I would get my Negates out. Oh my god, I ranked up. How amazing. Uh. So, what are we doing here? We have a praise redeem for Aku Meowie. Do I have the Meowie thing up here? It's so big. Do I have any other ones? Wait, why the fuck do I have this saved? Foods. My World Legacy Project. Yes. <clears throat> Meowie, you are doing great. You are amazing. And I am incredibly proud of you and all of your accomplishments. And you will have a wonderful day as long as you keep up a positive disposition. Sure, praise Maui twice. Meowie, Meowie. Call her a good girl. She is the best of girls. You will have a wonderful day. You have no choice. We all have choices in life. Some of our choices are preordained. Some of them are not. Appraise me. Do I not have this, like, capped out at something? Okay, another one. Oh wait, why am I- I forgot I have this room still up. Let's go to a different room. I like the school ruins. <gasps> Ooh, the light show. The time of- the dimension of lost time. Hyperface. Hyperspace. Ooh. Ooh, the moon. The moon at night. Uh, you know, the dual school is probably fine. There's no need to change it. 
Reaper Sakamaki. 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 You are great. All of your peers respect you. Your friends are happy to hang out with you. And you have an amazing day, you hear? Where is the yaoi background? There is no yaoi background. That was there just to show it when I had Sato on for a little bit. There's a night slash day cycle in space. Of course there is. <gasps> you had one? I mean, I just explained what that was. Bring it back. It's just Gray and Sato kissing each other. Why would I want to show that? The only reason I had it up was because I just wanted to show chat it because they were talking about it when I had them on. I just never removed it. Can we get the Yaoi background as a redeem? No. Dimension of Lost Time? You want to be in the Dimension of Lost Time? <gasps> Ooh, yes, let's maxi. Do we have surprise streamers for the tournament? No. What do you mean surprise streamers? I don't know what that means. Your big hips are in the way. I couldn't see it. Oh my god. I can't believe you would say that, Miaoi. My one... My one insecurity. And you just put it on full display like that. To everyone. Damn, Miaoi. <laughs> oh, I saw someone else had this one redeem. They had, like, a redeem for someone. It was basically, like, only this one person's allowed to get this redeem. If you get this redeem, then you just wasted your points. And I was like, wow. That sounds like a good idea. But one that wouldn't work if you have a larger stream. Because people will then just waste their points on it, just for fun. Just to be fucking little shits. Oh! <gasps> Fist of Fate! Oh my god, guys. I actually drew into fucking Fist of Fate. You have no freaking idea how amazing this freaking is I can actually do it they are nice hips wait what are nice hips Meowie contain yourself what do you mean contain yourself Meowie's very contained just as long as the conversation is not talking about Vince then that's when she goes hog wild we waste our points on things is now what the VIP redeem is I'm hoarding my points for the Become VIP Redeem. Yeah, one of these days I'll remove the Become VIP Redeem. I feel as though the VIP Redeem is too valuable. So people won't use the other ones because they're just saving for it, you know? Oh, are they going to FTK me? <gasps> Unless I can get out Obelisk in like two seconds before they can FTK. Lubellion. Yeah, they're going to go for the FTK. Meowie getting called out. Uh, she's not subtle about it. I think she tries to be, but I don't think so. If you have half a brain, you can figure it out. <gasps> they didn't go for the FTK? <gasps> no FTK. Special summon one divine monster from your deck. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. <gasps> I can do it. I just need to bait out their negate. <laughs> VIP. Yeah, I need to get rid of the VIP redeem. I need them to use their fucking negate. Uh, um, uh, you think they'll use it on card of the soul? You can only activate one. I need to activate True Name, but I also need to activate Top Share. Let's activate Shipyard. Hopefully they'll negate it. Watch him surrender before you can do it. I want to use Fist of Fate so badly. Family talk question? This minute? No. You can get family talk question after I get this done. Yes! They use the negate. You absolute buffoon. I can't believe you've done this, this tomfoolery. Okay, okay. Now I can use top sale to stack the top of my deck with any card I want. 
Top share. True name. Declare one card as the top of your deck. And if it's a declared card, add it to your hand. I'm going to add Gukin Suship Shari to my hand. Oh, I could have also used it on Fist of Fate. Ooh. Gukin Suship Shari. Okay, we have Gukin Suship Shari on the top of my deck. <gasps> and then I can use True Name to special summon an obelisk and then Fist of Fate. Pot of Avarice. Activate Fist True Name. Hopefully they don't negate this. Uh, Shari. Gukin. Wait, 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 wait. Shari. There it is. Gukin Suship Shari. I almost got it. They don't have a negate for true name. Hopefully they don't have a negate for true name. If they do, I'm literally going to shit and fart. <gasps> That's not a negate, right? They're just summoning a card. This is fine. I can just use Maxi. Well, I guess I'm reading VIP. I can give them VIP later. They're not as important as resolving this. Oh, they had a negate? Okay, that's fine. Just as long as I get my obelisk out. It's a good thing they didn't negate my uh, my true name. Feels bad, man. Okay, wait, what? Baguska, the terribly typer tapir. That's fine. Special summon one monster from your deck. Yes. Obelisk. <laughs> I finally did it. I have obelisk. I can finally use Fist of Fate. <gasps> They're going to do something. Activate Fist of Fate. Your opponent cannot respond to this effect. No, wait. They can respond. They just can't negate it. <gasps> select cards to destroy. Wait, what do you mean select cards to destroy? And if you destroy... And if you do that, the rest of this turn, the monsters also cannot activate. Destroy all spell traps your opponent controls. This one. Destroy cards. Wait, it only destroys one card? I thought it did more than that. <laughs> this card sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's a hard once per turn. Why is this a hard once per turn? It's so bad. There's no reason for it to be a hard once per turn. This freaking deck. Reveal, special summon. No. Uh, activate Gukin Suship Shari. Reveal. Special summon. <laughs> Select a card to special summon from your deck. This one. And then go into this card for double attacks. And then activate its effect to draw a card. Top share. Excellent. Okay, and then we'll normal summon Shari. Activate this card. Select this one. Go into level 5. Special summon a card from the... Or add a card from the deck to the hand. Okay, and then we can use this to clear his field. Ooh. Ooh, they're both level 5. I could go into Zeus and just like clear his field too. Or I can use Obelisk the Tormentor to do this. <laughs> to wipe all of his cards. <laughs> and then attack twice with Shari. <laughs> it worked. I did it. I finally got it. I finally used Fist of Fate, guys. I did it. I'm a hero. It finally worked. The combo worked. He used his negates incorrectly. He had two negates and he used them wrong. It was all thanks to Maxi giving me so much card advantage I could play through his board. And for him to not use the FTK. Okay, so there were some redeems that I have to do real quick. Uh, what was it? Become VIP? Alright, here you go. Slash VIP. I'll be removing the VIP redeem. Unable? Did someone else give him VIP already? Let me see. Yeah, someone else already gave it to him. Okay, I'm not sure who gave it to him, but that works. And then a family talk question. <gasps> okay, family talk question. 
Family talk question. If you were being abducted, what would you do and how? Demonstrate it. What? If you were being abducted, what would you do? I'd fucking run and scream. I'd be like, no, stop. You can't touch me. That's my purse. And then you kick him in the balls. Get fisted. You also have a solid redeem gift as a sub for 150k? Yeah, I mean, if you redeem that, I'll gift you a sub. It cost me, what, like 250? Oh my god, logs, you can't touch me. That's my purse. Would you shit in fard? Shut up. Okay, chat. We did it. We accomplished the goal of getting off Fist of Fate. This amazing card. Oh my god, it's so good. I can't believe we finally did it. All it took was them casting Max C in order to do it. So for those of you who don't understand how this deck works, let me explain it. So, Fist of Fate is a quick play spell card. It's like a destruction version of Called by the Grave. It destroys a card and negates the monster's effects for the rest of the turn. And then also, you can destroy all your opponent's spell traps afterwards. Absolute terrible card, because you need Obelisk to be on the field, and this card's very hard to get out. So, what I'm trying to do is cheat out Obelisk with True Name. Because True Name allows you to reveal the top card of your deck, and if you declare it correctly, you get a spell to summon a divine monster from your deck. So, Sue Ships allow you to very easily stack the top card of your deck. Well, not easily, but they do allow you to stack it with their field spell and with this card right here. So you can stack it with Shari so you know what it is. So that you can use True Name to spell to summon Obelisk from the deck. Then you can use Fist of Fate. Alternatively, you can use Top Share in order to stack Fist of Fate on top of your deck. Then use True Name in order to declare Fist of Fate. You'll add Fist of Fate to your hand, spell to summon Obelisk, and then you can do it. It's, it's a full combo. It's amazing. It's so bad. This is so terrible. You guys have no idea how garbage it is. But it works. Sue Ship Obelisk, that's the content I sum for. <laughs> yeah. It worked! You guys saw it work! It worked once! Exactly one time! And and no others, and I'm not gonna do it again. This is this is it. This is done. We're we're all out of ideas. Well, I mean I have other ideas. I have a deck for all of the garbage god card supports. Next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, we will be playing uh, Blaze Cannon. <laughs> if you control a <laughs> Winged Dragon of Raw, gain all these effects. And the way I'm going to do that is with a uh, Necro Valley deck with three copies of Royal Tribute and Malefic Cyber and Dragon. And then, of course, I have one for Slifer too, the Thunder Force Attack deck. Honestly, I think this would have probably be easier to use. Thunder Force Attack is also better as well. And I have other ideas, too. They're just not built. So, yeah. Those will be the next couple of streams whenever I get around to doing them. For now, before I go... Before I go off into the abyss... Fuck all you guys! Fuck bye, you VTuber. I, I, go to hell. I was gonna say... If there's anything else you guys need... But I was like, what the fuck would you need? There's nothing you need for me. I'm a spider. Who lives in Dual Academy. Bye, Loggy. Goodbye, Akumioi. I hope you have a better day. I saw your tweet. You seemed stressed. I immediately sent you a message. I was like, Miaoi. Oh no. My friend. My wonderful dude. My guy. What is, what is the meaning of this? And Miaoi said, shut up. Don't talk to me, Logs. And I was like, okay. But you, you have a good day, you hear? And then uh, n nothing, no silence. But you know, that's that's just that's just the the relationship we have. <laughs> you guys, he did DM me to check in. Of course I did. I just told him that. What you think I would lie over here? You think I'm I'm telling lies? You think this is a house of lies? This is Duel Academy. We're here to duel. Log sign in his DMs. Yeah, yeah. You see, like, you guys, so many of you people say you have social anxiety, right? I don't. So what I do is I message people about my thoughts immediately as soon as I have them, to my detriment. Yes, you lied? Yeah, so, like, I'll message people about everything all the time if I see something. If they post something on Twitter, I will immediately send them a message about it, and I'll post a, a link back to their tweet so they have context. There's ads right now? Oh, shit, I could have delayed them. My bad. I didn't see that. 
I just came to say I love YouTube content. Congrats on getting partnered on Twitch. I thought you'd never do it. <gasps> Why, thank you, Forgotten Overwatch 2. Yeah, I got partnered because they let me stream on YouTube, too. Maybe I should do a YouTube stream tonight. Maybe. I have so much fucking work to do that I don't want to commit to that. Lol. Yes, you lied. Wait, what did I lie about? What did I lie about Akumiyo? I don't think I, I said single a falsehood about anything. Maybe I'm embellishing the actual words just a tiny bit, but like that's just for dramatic effect. We're, we're streamers here. We understand how this works. The only thing missing was an insult. <gasps> you guys want to hear this? Yeah, duologues, you're so cool and mysterious. Wow. I wish I had a quote like this from Meowie, but she never does it seriously. And then Ame just randomly did it seriously on stream, just out of nowhere. And I was like, whoa. I didn't tell you to shut up. <laughs> I mean, this artistic liberties were, were taken with the retelling of the story. Wow. Yeah, Ame's really good, right? Meowie, when am I going to get a voice clip like that from you? Oh, that reminds me. So, whatchamacallit, Sato did like a BFE reading script, right? Where he posted like, I don't know, 10 minute long BFE reading thing on his on his YouTube. And then Leah was listening to it before the stream started. And she's like, yeah, I've listened to it like 40 times. And I was like, Meowie, where's yours? Where's, where's my script to re listen to 40 times before streams? Logs would never die. I'm trying to get her to upload content for you guys, but she won't. She refuses. Every day I message her, I'm like, Meowie, when are you going to upload more YouTube content for your wonderful fans who are waiting? And she says, shut up, Logs. Stop talking to me. I'm like, okay. But I still do it anyway. I'm looking out for you guys. It's not for my own interests. It's not because I want it. It's, it's, it's for you. Hates making content for us. <laughs> Sorry, but I just wanted to know your Prime Material Dragon and Falcon are. I don't know what those cards are. I mean, I know what Prime Material Dragon is, but like, I don't know why anyone would ask about it because it's such an old card that no one uses. And Falcon, what? There's like a million Falcon cards. There's literally an, a Raid Raptor Falcon archetype. So there's, there's tons of Falcons. You mean Ultimate Falcon? You mean the Falcon archetype? Not true. Y'all want a suggestive script? We need scripts from you. We need we need more more of your voice in this world. It's probably because it's old. Prime Material Falcon? What the fuck is Prime Material Falcon? I never said that, right? So what do you talk about in that secret stream logs? In the secret stream? Uh, I usually just complain about my life. <laughs> Like two days ago, Miwa sent me a message like after midnight and after midnight, that's when my, my, uh, my anxiety spikes. So I ended up talking to Miwa for like three hours. I just basically just complained about everything while she sat there and listened because she couldn't talk back because she was at work. He wants to rant during the stream and it's all complaints. It is, it is basically, I mean, I've, I've stopped. That was my New Year's resolution to stop doing that. I don't think, I think I've done a good job at stopping. That's what friends do for people? Yeah, exactly. So anyways, let's go over to Tina Cheeto. Because I need to go back to work. I literally just wanted to do Fist of Fate and then I would probably call stream unless there was some time left. But it's been two hours. That's a good enough time. Bye bye. Have you stopped? I have stopped. There's so many things I'd love to complain about that I haven't talked about on stream. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing great. Bye chat. Bye. <gasps> See you later, Meowie. Uh, everybody else, you, I, I guess bye to you as well. You guys, unfortunately, are just not as important as Meowie. I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to mince words. <laughs> If there's one thing I'm, I'm good at being is uh, a little stinker when it comes to being honest. Even if it is to my detriment. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>